There are a lot of different disciplines practiced here at Jordan, different arts in the areas of, of culinary, hospitality, winemaking, viticulture, landscaping, building and design. And so with, with our weekly video blog, what we're trying to do is capture a little bit about what happens in those different departments in those different areas with the people that are very passionate about those respective crafts and sort of be a resource to people, I guess you could say, the consumer that's out there that doesn't live in wine country and doesn't get to come here every day, but uh, enjoys wine and wants to learn a little bit more about what we do. And maybe there's something that goes on in our day-to-day -day practices here that can be something that can be useful to them in their everyday life, whether it's our chef um, working on a new recipe and he shares a tip about a certain cooking technique that he uses that they could use at home, or it's our composting program that we have and something that Dana does and what's important to composting that someone could use in their, their home. So that's a little bit of what we try to do and, and capture and share with people through video. At Jordan, we look at video as an integral part of marketing communications. And here, marketing and communications is all one department. And so they're completely integrated. And then video is a part of everything that we do in terms of our, our storytelling, if you will. Video is integrated into our email blast campaigns. Video is integrated into our trade um, education programs. It's part of our video blog and soon will be becoming part of our website. So we basically try to look at everything we do in marketing and make sure that we have a video component for that. So I would say as far as fit, it. It fits everywhere. We try to make it, I wouldn't say the nucleus, but always using video as a component to, to help us tell our story. The reason why we decided to go with using video as part of our storytelling here at Jordan is because it is so compelling. I mean, first and foremost, we live in an era now where there's a lot of conversation online. There's so many places for people to get information. And with a video, and having that visual um, imagery and that impact for someone, you can engage someone quicker and I think get across a message or share something faster than what it would take for someone who may have to read through two or three pages of, of text online to get that same uh, information that they could get by just watching a video that may last one to two minutes. So I think why video works so well for Jordan is because it's a very dynamic place here on this estate. There are a lot of things happening with our chef in the kitchen, you know, the winemakers and the winery, um, the viticulturalists, what's happening in the gardens. And so with video, we're able to bring people to this place and have them, you know, experience a little bit of our life and get that snapshot in. There's um, a saying that actually came last year from the Direct to Consumer Symposium that Hadir Athira, the keynote speaker said, and she said, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video is worth 300,000. And that's really something that I, I take to heart in our video program here is that, but with video, you can get so much more of an impact when people see that because it is more dynamic. It's not one dimensional, it's not two dimensional, it goes beyond that. In terms of budgeting for video, this is a new program for us and I mean in everything that happens at Jordan, I mean the, the goal is always great greatness, um, whether it's in winemaking or viticulture or hospitality. So John just wants to make sure, I mean he gives us the tools that we need to succeed and so that's really been over the last year me saying, you know, I need this type of camera because that's going to record the quality of the imagery that is appropriate to the Jordan brand and that means I'm going to need good audio and I'm going to need a good tripod and I'm going to need a bag and all of these things. So I would say that um, I'd rather not give out like an actual number of what I could say that we've spent but I think that um, the budget of your video program really all depends on your brand image and what you're trying to do. And with a brand, an established classic, like timeless classic like Jordan for us, it was very important that we used video as a storytelling vehicle in a way that was appropriate to our brand. And so that has really required us to look very closely at our equipment and make sure we're using the highest quality equipment. And there may be a brand out there that could do something with a flip video for $200 that could completely work for them. Um, 
but for us, we wanted to get this more of a documentary style feel when we share um, we share what happens here on the estate. So that required us to spend a little bit more money. I mean, I think that you could probably get a video program going with quality equipment for, I mean, it's gonna probably cost you for the really good equipment, $7,500, I would say, um, for your equipment. And actually probably say 10,000 if you're considering computer with that and software. Um, it can go up from there because video editing is a big part of making sure you get you have to get great imagery But then you have to be really good at the editing as well We do have a lot of people that ask us if our videos are professionally done and We take great pride in the fact that we shoot all of our videos in-house videos really become a part of our culture here Everyone participates. Um, it was really awesome this morning. I came in and, and Laura who works with me does all of her video editing the um, Seller master is at her desk and he's talking about the fact that we're pressing off our last tank and he wants to make sure that we get footage of that um, for so we have that captured for 2010 and there's sort of that energy here now where everyone is just like, oh, what's, you know, what's happening here? What's happening there? We got to make sure we call Lisa, Laura and, and capture this on video. So it's really cool when people look at what we do and say, oh, is that professionally done? And we do it all in we do it all in house. Um, we're self we're self taught in many ways. I learned a lot from working with Brett Lyman, uh, B Napa Studio. He's a very talented filmmaker. I mean, I'm doing something different that's not on his level. It's you know more video blogging, but uh, it's really just been knowing a little bit about composition and photography and teaching ourselves as storytellers how to use this new medium that's available to us and we're um, very proud that we've been able to do it in-house and that there's equipment now available on the market that people who were not able to do this themselves or thought they needed to hire a professional can actually go out and buy that equipment and do it themselves. Measuring success of our, our video program here, it's an ongoing process we're, I'm, I'd say we by and large look at views. Um, the goal, of course, is to continue to grow, grow the views every week, and they have. And I would say for me, it's like if I can, a video can get a couple of thousand views in the first uh, three to four months, that's definitely um, exciting. We've had a few videos do that so far. Uh, some of our videos are now to the point where they're getting about 500 views within um, two to three weeks. And I think that's great, but sometimes we have a video that may only get 100 views um, in the first week. And so I'd love to get to the point where I say a video gets 500 views in the first week and it kind of goes from there. Um, we're just in the process of really, you know, re refining what we're doing with our content and getting that together. And so kind of the next step is now working on, in addition to SEO, which we feel like we've got our search engine optimization dialed in and where we've got all of our disciplines of social media and um, online presence kind of pointing back to video or getting back to our blog where the videos live is now the next step is telling the story to more people in traditional media and going out and doing more special events so that more people learn about what we're doing so that we continue to grow our viewer our viewership in terms of our video strategy with the trade it ties back to this marketing communications integration um, with video and how it's a part of everything we do so since it's since that is the case video is a part of our trade marketing as well we look at all of our videos as yes we're doing a video for the blog but what kind of videos can we do for trade education we use videos um, we do video messages from the owner uh, from John Jordan when we have a new distributor and he does a personal message to them. Um, we've done videos with Rob Davis, our winemaker, where it's a, it's a new, um, maybe it's also a kickoff meeting with the distributor, a new vintage, and Rob does a message to them and does an actual virtual tasting um, with them. And it's staff trainings, um, those are all just a few off the top of my head ways that we're using this as a trade and trying to do you know, live streaming video when we can. Um, for trade education as well.